All right, you guys can see this is my ceiling fan I have in my living room. Now, sorry, there's a plate on the floor. The dog took it and licked it. I think you have it on. So, yep, there you go. I think it's on low. You can see it's a very nice fan. Now this one, it's about 10 or 12 years old. We got this one at Kmart. And we have this one. This one, it's the 52 inch. This one's a 42 inch, like the ones upstairs in our bedrooms. Here, I will turn the light on. This, it's, it's on high. I don't know why that one's on low in the living room, but, uh, this is high. I know if you can hear the air or not, but, uh, very nice fan, as you can see. This one we got at, uh, Dollar General for 20 bucks. If that's high. Medium. Low. and off and here's the one in the kitchen now this one I just bought from my mom and dad last year and we just put it up this past summer got it at Walmart for $70 52 inch 5 blades 4 lights very beautiful fan But yeah, I gotta clean them before the holidays. I, plus, I gotta clean the one on my bedroom. It's a, it's the blades are so dirty, can't see what color the damn thing is. You can't see what the blades look like hardly. That's high. Plus, the one upstairs we have to fix them all because they're disconnected to the drop ceiling. There ain't no support on them. Now these ones down here, they're they're screwed into the stud of the floor, so. That's high, this is medium. Low. But, um, always remember to keep your ceiling fans clean because what happens is, ah, what happens is, well, that one stopped already. What happens is the it put when you leave dust again on the blades, it puts weight on the motor, and it makes the motor bog down. Puts weight on your blades, makes the blades extra heavy. This is the one in the kitchen. These are all, all three rooms down here have ceiling fans, and they're all the shiny brass. That's the ones we like. I don't like fucking white ceiling fans. Now, the only white ceiling fans I'll buy are the ones that have the brass, I guess. The white blades. That's the only white ceiling fans I'll buy. But all white ones, I think they're ugly as hell. And I also like the one like I got in my bedroom. It is a rubbed oiled, rubbed oiled bronze look. It looks like it's rustic. Looks like it's rusted or whatever they call it. This is here. There's one in the dining room again. Living room. Honey, put your phone away. It's distracting. My phone is distracting from the 3D destruction of the Milky Way. You notice we don't have a down rods on ours. I don't know why. I think it's retarded. 
Up, these ceilings in here are about 10, 12 feet high. We should have put the down rods on them. But, um... The one in the kitchen is also a 52 inch. Same as this, but it has an extra blade. So there you have it. That's all my ceiling pans downstairs. <laughs> yeah. I'm watching Good Luck Charlie. Ain't nothing wrong with Disney Channel. Now that stupid show Ant Farm, I don't care for it. But I like uh, Shake It Up and Good Luck Charlie and Jesse. Nickelodeon, iCarly, and Victorious. Oh my lord. <laughs> Now, ceiling fans are good. You, the good thing about them is you ain't got to lubricate them. They're already lubed. And most of them have ball bearing motors, so they run nice and smooth. Yeah, no, the only thing I don't like about this one is I don't like the frosted shades. Because they don't put out as much light. But there you have it. That's my. Them, all my ceiling fans downstairs. <laughs>